so i pray you all enjoy this video let's get a new journal let's go on this journey together we have to grow in the lord it's 2023 it's no longer time for joking around things are getting real very quick and if you do not know the enemy that you're fighting hi saints i pray you're all having a blessed day in the lord i pray he continues to bless you and guide you and provide for you and your beautiful families in your going out and you're coming in amen now in today's video i really wanted to start a series that i've really been led to start on this channel because a lot of believers do not know how important important it is to have knowledge about things that are working against us working against our faith entities stuff that actually exists but because you can't see them that does not mean they do not exist they do exist demons exist other realms are there and there are forces that are working against you in high places we can talk about this there's so many things that work against us as believers. You may be surprised if you do not have this knowledge. All right. So when I stumbled upon this video that our brother made, I said, you know what? Let me share it with you all. I will be putting his link down in the description so you all can just go there and check out his channel, of course, because if the bread is already baked, why bake another bread? Share it. Cut it up and share it. We are all brothers and sisters in the Lord and we all should have one main goal. Amen? Amen. So just get excited as we are about to embark on this new journey as we learn more about the forces that are working against us in these end of days. 16 signs that witchcraft is being worked against you. That's my arm right there. The number one would be scratches, demonic scratches. They're unexplainable. You don't know where they came from, but they have a purpose. Their purpose is to mark you for destruction. They usually come in threes, but as you see on my arm over here, they can come with more. Um, I got those in a very heavy season of warfare. They also serve to try and make blood covenants. Number two is like a band of pressure that you'll feel around your head. Um, and it can also be pressure inside of the head. Um, it'll feel like a belt or something like that is going around your forehead or even around the circumference of your head. Uh, number three would be evil arrows. This can be sharp pains anywhere in your body. Uh, it'll feel like maybe a needle or something that'll just press into your skin. Um, and again, it's unexplainable by doctors and so forth uh, when you go get checked out. But they're like sharp stabbing pains. These are evil arrows. Number four is being chased in a dream. You shouldn't be chased in dreams. Um, this is a sign of witchcraft. Uh, whether it be a person chasing you or animals chasing you is not a good thing in your dreams when you're being chased. Number five is someone driving you around in your dreams. If you're in your dream and like uh, you're in a car and someone else is driving, that means someone else is in control of your life, which is essentially what witchcraft is, manipulation. So someone else is manipulating or driving you. Um, this is a problem. Look who's in the driver's seat. Number six, extreme energy drain. Um, you won't have any motivation to do anything. You'll want to skip work. Um, you'll feel terrible, but like someone just sucked the life force out of you. Um, this is another sign. Number seven is seeing snakes in dreams, and particularly yellow ones in particular, um, represent um, witchcraft. Um, you can see victory in your dream from witchcraft. I had one the other day. If you cut the um, head off of the serpent, in a dream, particularly a yellow one, but um, they can be all different colors. Um, but yeah, seeing snakes in dream, different animals as well. But um, yeah. Number eight is the constant loss of money. If you just cannot hold on to money and you're being responsible with it, but it seems to just go, there are spells to work against you that will uh, hurt your finances. And then there's eating in dreams. Um, that's not always a monitoring spirit. Uh, most of the time when you eat in the dreams, is a sign of witchcraft and someone trying to get something inside of your body. So that's not a good thing. Um, there are 
specific uh, explanations for specific foods and so forth. But yeah, you don't want to eat in your drink. Confusion. If you're just confused out of nowhere, you're double-minded and unstable in all your ways, your witchcraft is most likely being worked against you. If you just can't think straight, cannot make a decision, something is wrong. Next up, we have anger. Um, if you find yourself just angry out of nowhere, you're feeling fine, then extreme rage and stuff takes over. Witchcraft. Um, after that, we're going to move into people will turn on you. Uh, people who are treating you nice and so forth. You would think that you did something to them, but relationships and so forth will start to sour and go down for no explainable reasons. Next up is obsessive thoughts. You have obsessive thoughts about someone, maybe an ex. Um, this person could have treated you badly. They could have beat you, um, done anything, all type of manners or wickedness to you. But you cannot get them out of your mind. There's a reason. It may be a love spell worked against you. So um, ladies, I would recommend looking under um, a man's bed um, and seeing are your panties in a bowl with some kind of concoction in it. Um, because... <laughs> Um yeah, yeah, I'll stop at that. But um next is rashes. This um one tends to happen with um uh women as well. Uh be from one woman to another where perhaps she wants this woman's husband, she'll put um uh, a spell on her to make her looks go down. You'll find face rashes and uh problems with the skin, things that never existed. All of a sudden eczema is just starting to come up and again, no medical explanations for all this. And so it didn't look like I quite had 16, but if you want to know how to deal with it, um, head on to my YouTube page. Um, I put the link right there in the description and, um, yeah, um, you pray against this stuff because, um, I've had lots of witchcraft worked against myself. I guess my family put up, people put, uh, death curses on us, but, um, it's never worked. These things never work. It usually ends up backfiring and, um, that's a whole nother story, but, uh, God bless you all. Peace. If you do not know the enemy that you're fighting, how can you attack? How can you know the strategies that you need and where to aim? Hallelujah. Where to aim your Holy Ghost shots in the spirit. Amen. So let us just keep the momentum up as we embark on this journey. Because at the end of the day, we have to know the God we serve. And we have to know what is out there that is fighting against us us against our faith against our belief against our god the one true god amen so let us just get ready for this journey let us know that it is for our good we are on this journey together saints of god hallelujah we are on this journey together so grab your notebook get a fresh journal get something tangible as I said in a previous video, it's time to stop relying on our memories. Let's study. We're going to study. So have a journal ready for this, okay? So you can start jotting down points, jotting down Bible verses, jotting down what you learn. Because we have to grow and we have to, since you have to stop drinking milk, it's time for meat. Hallelujah. As we build the army of God. Hallelujah. I pray that you learn from this video. I pray that you just get a, a, a clearer vision or a clearer understanding of things that may be happening in your personal life. Because when I watched this video, I could say, yes this has happened this has happened this has happened so a few things are not right or were not right in my past based of what our brother said and we will learn even more as we continue in this series as i get bible teachers and other brothers and sisters that really specialize in this ministry in deliverance in we all should be specializing in the deliverance ministry to be honest because that's a very very important part of our lives as believers deliverance is very important hello very important so i pray you all enjoy this video get a new journal 
let's go on this journey together we have to grow in the lord it's 2023 it's no longer time for joking around things are getting real very quick and if you do not know the enemy that you're fighting if you do not know what to do when you are even backed up in a corner you it's listen you do not want to be in that situation and none of us should be in a situation and not know what to do yes call on the name of jesus but what else what else should you be doing in your daily life to fight against the powers that are fighting against us the powers in heavenly places the dark evil princes of this world that are fighting against you each and every day while you're at home at school at play amen so it's real and we have to understand what we are doing because yes the devil will see us see right believers just going to church going to work not really ignited with the power of the holy spirit not doing anything not saving souls just there and you think that is enough that is not enough when we stand in front of the father we want him to say well done my faithful servant my son my daughter well done amen amen so i know as you watched that video you saw a few things that you can say that is not right all right so pray on it let's get working on it find bible verses that speak on that thing and get ready get ready be ready and start hallelujah start 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 we are going to go on a fast as a family i will will Give you an idea of that remember i we can do the dates but work with what the holy spirit says to you personally amen and let's not tell anyone why we're on fast all right let's not tell anyone why we're on fast so i love you all so much let's go it's 2023 please if you are watching me this channel for the first time go ahead and subscribe share this channel so 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 much information and videos that they're all there in the archive go ahead go back watch them all right there's a website nastasiagrace.com go ahead and go on that videos that i cannot share on here they are of course on the website with a lot more resources and just a lot of things going on on the website check that out other links are in the description below if you are not a believer and you want to be please accept the lord right now to be your lord and savior tell him to take control of your life tell him that you're giving him all of you tell him to lead you and guide you find yourself then in a bible believing church get baptized and start your journey amen amen we are here for you we love you please join our telegram groups the main telegram group and also the intercessory prayer telegram group if you want a closer more intimate family around you that's praying for certain things join that group as well okay so love you all so much i'm doing my very best my very very best and i'm i'm going to even do even more amen so you do your best as well and do even more as we continue to grow in the lord amen and yeah know that i love you all so much the lord loves you jesus is lord and i will see you all very soon i pray his face shines on you and that he gives you his peace shalom